Police in Illinois now say the defendant in the Highland Park July 4th shooting thought about committing another shooting hours later here in Wisconsin. Robert Cremo III traveled to Madison but decided against a second attack that day. That's not all investigators revealed to us. Our Bill Miston joins us now in Middleton with more on the story. Steph and Ted, police and FBI agents showed up here to Jim's Auto Service Center Tuesday morning. They didn't need anything fixed, but they say they had a fix on Robert Cremo's cell phone and that the shop's owner telling me they found it in a pile of dirt. Jim Malone showed up to his shop like he's done for years and opened the doors for business after the long holiday weekend. I, had a, I walked in, I had a customer here, I was, I was speaking with her and then gentleman walks in. A detective with the Dane County Sheriff's Office. Lund says it was totally unexpected. We have a suspect that may have left something in your on your property. One says his wheels were turning as he watched his lot fill up with police and FBI agents. After some customers left, the man walked back in to explain more. I asked if I had heard about the Highland Park shootings and I said yes I did. And then he pulled out his phone. He goes, has this guy ever been in here before? Meaning 21 year old Robert Cremo. And they were looking for a phone. Probably about two or three inches is buried in this light dirt. The Lake County Sheriff's Office said Cremo had left Illinois after the shooting and traveled to Wisconsin. Where was it known? Until Wednesday morning and a possible reason why. While he was driving and he located this celebration occurring in the Madison area, he contemplated another attack with the firearm he had in his car. But Cremo dumped the phone and traveled back to Illinois where he was arrested. Tuesday after three day weekend, you know, it's usually crazy, but that was crazy. The whole thing leaving Lund at a loss. It's just unbelievable and you know, it's kind of, kind of scary you know, that he was right here. What was, what was he planning on doing? Who knows? I kept asking myself, why here? Why? This is my property here. And still that question unanswered as to why here in Middleton and really what celebration uh, was Cremo uh, targeting, according to police. That phone, though, now in the possession of the FBI. Cremo charged today or made his first court appearance on uh, seven counts of first degree murder, and he's being held without bail. Reporting live in Middleton, Bill Misted, Fox 6 News. And Bill, we still don't know why, right? There's still no motive being discussed at this point. Yeah, investigators are very uh, keeping anything of any discussions that are being had with Cremo very close to their vest, and they're not wanting to detail any of those types of conversations. But again, did say today that he traveled to the Madison area, including Middleton, and had been taking a look at some of the celebrations that were ongoing on Independence Day. Quite disturbing information. Bill Miston reporting live for us in Middleton. Thank you.